Today's practice and scrimmage was reflective of the entire spring. Uh, most every competitive setting uh, went down to the last series in terms of a winner and a loser. Uh, a lot of situational work, which is good. A lot of volume of plays, which is good. We were very simple and we were very basic and very vanilla today. Um, but I think you still saw uh, what Bryce uh, Perkins is capable of. There's glimpses here and there, as you can see what kind of a dynamic play, a big play threat that he is. I think our program uh, continues to work on its physical presence, its fundamentals, and there are holes to fill. So with uh, Kurt Bankert being gone, the style of play is changing, and uh, now a first-year quarterback is taking over, so that always adds a unique stress point, um, especially it's when it's year three of a program, so it's year three expectations with uh, year one at the quarterback position. Same thing would be at Micah's position, at middle linebacker, kind of the presence and the physical nature of what that looks like and the mindset. Uh, I would say both are equal, the physical play and the mindset. Uh, the defense is still uh, finding that, and then the production uh, with both Andrew and Quinn being gone as well. So those holes are being filled, and each practice kind of gives us a clearer idea of what that might look like. So as of today, um, Bryce is our starter. I'm naming him as such. He'll be our starter going into the summer. Uh, he'll be leading our team through that period, starting coming into fall camp. And it, at this point, it's his job to lose. He has moved the team most effectively. Not only does he have the coaches' um, trust, but he has the team's trust. He's humble. He's driven. He's zero drama. He's a quick learner, a uh, natural leader and just a productive and dynamic athlete. Once he's in the open, we don't catch him. Every play in our program matters, and so we've kept track the entire spring, and actually there was only a six-point deficit of almost 900 plays. There was only a six-point swing between the offense and defense going into the day, which it shows you how competitive it's been. But in terms of efficiency, if the offense runs the ball, for more than four yards on first down, that's a point for the offense. If they get more than four yards running or passing defensively, if it's under four, there's point totals for third downs, third down stops, fourth downs, touchdowns, and those are statistics, or that's, um, that's data that's all been relevant to predicting outcome. And so normally when you look at that, it's not necessarily the number that matters, it's the outcome. We're still relatively youthful, we're still relatively young, our strength and size is being built, and. So I'm not convinced yet that we're blocking and tackling at the level that we're going to need to. So that has to happen at the same time, the competitive work. And we'll be balancing that through fall camp as well and then trying to stay healthy because the roster is still, we're still thinner than what I'd like. Plenty of room to improve, but we played a lot of football this spring and I thought that was exactly what we needed. Not only played football, but it was very competitive. So I, I like the direction.